Welcome back to Cora Smith is joining us now from the Net Health WIC department. Last month, of course, was Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this month we are shining a light on prematurity. So we appreciate you being here Thank big time. Thank you, you so much for stopping Thank by. You. So how common are premature births here in Texas? Especially in Smith County, very common. About over 10% of our births re result in a premature delivery. And so what we're trying to inform the community about is prematurity is the number one killer of our infants. It is the number one cause of death for our infants. So if a baby is to be born prematurely, what kind of complications can come from that health-wise? Uh, hearing and vision loss, uh, respiratory issues. We see common developmental delays. That's what we see a lot in WIC. So that's our overall goal is to prevent the premature birth so that our uh, little ones have a fighting chance starting off from the beginning. Yeah, so for maybe trying or expecting mothers, what should they know about to prevent premature births? Definitely going in for checkups and we encourage them to seek out their doctor if they feel different, whether it's just paying attention to their bodies, going in for prenatal checkups and making sure they're prescribed prenatal vitamins and going to birthing classes, coming to WIC so we can educate them about their nutritional needs. But those that may not come to our office, we definitely need them to see a physician immediately. Yeah, so what kind of community groups are here in East Texas for people maybe dealing with this? I know you guys offer several resources, right? So at WIC, we do offer our infant feeding classes and our daddy camp class to help with our fathers, but we have a Healthy Me Healthy Babies Coalition that's a diverse group of individuals that actually give access to food, uh, insurance, medical care. We actually have a program where home visits are available to moms and we offer resources to help them to ensure they have a full-term pregnancy. Yeah, do people need to sign up for these groups ahead of time or can they join? Actually, they can just join our group the third Monday Day of every month at TJC West. They can look up Healthy Me Healthy Babies on our website, but they can also come next Wednesday to our luncheon, to our kickoff luncheon for our Purples for Preemies and join us at the Rose Garden Center at 1130 just to get involved with the program and learn more about prematurity. Awesome. Do you need to buy, it looks like tickets are 30 bucks. Where can you purchase those? You can actually go on to uh, Eventbrite to purchase the tickets. You will have to look up Purple for Preemies, March of Dimes Luncheon, or you can call WIC and uh, we'll be happy to assist them with purchasing tickets. I'm glad you mentioned Purple for Preemies. So Breast Cancer Awareness Month obviously being pink. So for Purple, that's kind of a way you can spread awareness, maybe even if you're not going through that. And if they would just simply wear purple on Friday, November 15th, we want our moms and babies to know as a community that we support them, the volunteers, the organizations, uh, putting up lights, purple lights outside of our home to signify our support of our infants that are born too early. Absolutely. It's the least we could do. Yeah. Takora, thank you so much for stopping by here today. Oh, thank you. You're welcome.